Infantry fighting vehicles are massively important to transport troops safely and attack any hostile enemy forces. One of the most impressive recent IFVs is the Borsic, and this is because of its world-leading amphibious and protective qualities. This vehicle is a massive part of Poland's modernization of its army, which is timely considering world events. Let's see why this vehicle is set to play such an important part in modern warfare. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. Even before the Russian invasion of neighboring Ukraine, Poland's army was modernizing the Armored Corps to streamline functionality, increase capability, and follow more of a Western approach to modern war. This resulted in several initiatives, including the Borsuk Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The all-modern tracked design is intended as a direct replacement for the aging series of BWP-1 tracked IFVs, a relic from the Cold War. Most of these were obtained from the Soviet Union, while some were locally produced under license. These vehicles were made somewhere between 1966 and 1988, but still form the backbone of the Polish Army's mechanized battalions. As part of the modernization plan we've mentioned, the Polish Army is gradually upgrading inventory, but up until now, there's been no modern replacement for its BWP-1. The Borsuk was born out of a proposed upgrade program in order to improve the capabilities of these aging IFVs. There have been several attempts at making the BWP-1 viable, but none have worked. There have also been a number of modernized variations of that vehicle that were introduced in Poland over the years, including the BWP-40, BWP-95, and BWP-1M Puma. A proposed BWP-2000 IFE was cancelled in the late 1990s, and there was also a proposed BWP-1M Puma upgrade program, which was also cancelled in 2009. In 2010, another Anders IFV was unveiled. It was a new design, however, it was not selected for production. In 2013, the decision was made that most BWP-1s were to be retired between 2018 and 2021. So, the Borsuk, meaning Badger in Polish, was another attempt to create a modern Polish IFV. A consortium was formed by Obram and Polish Defense Holding, but in 2013, development was transferred to another consortium led by Polish manufacturer Huta Stalawa Wola. The majority of development work for the new vehicle has been carried out internally in Poland. In 2023, it was announced that Poland will obtain 1,000 Borsuk IFVs, plus another 400 configured as specialized variants. Now, the new armored vehicles are set to completely replace the fleet of Polish BWP-1s. A full-scale model of the Borsuk was presented at the MSPO International Defense Exhibition held in Kielce, Poland in September of 2018 while a prototype equipped with the ZSSW-30 remote weapon turret was displayed at the MSPO exhibition in September 2019. Initial tests, including swimming and firing trials of the vehicle, were scheduled for completion by the end of 2021, with further qualifying tests planned for 2022. This was all leading up to full-scale production in 2024. This IFV features a composite rubber track system supplied by SUSE Defense. Each track integrates a continuously cased rubber band structure, which includes composite materials and steel cord. This CRT system reduces vibrations and weight when compared to conventional steel tracks. The hull of the Borsuk is highly versatile and can be configured into multiple versions, such as an infantry fighting vehicle, command post vehicle, and medical evacuation vehicle. The vehicle is also designed to tackle all types of water obstacles with ease and operate in difficult terrains with harsh weather conditions. The Borsuk weighs in at 30 tons and has a running length of 7.3 meters or 24 feet with a beam of 3.3 meters or 11 feet and a height of almost 3.3 meters to the turret top. Internally, it houses an operating crew of three with seating for six passengers under light to medium protection. The turret operates the 30mm MK44S Bushmaster II series automatic cannon and carries two Israeli Spike LR anti-tank guided missiles used for dealing with armored threats at range. These are housed in a compartment off the right side of the turret. 
The vehicle also has a 7.62mm UKM 2000C anti-infantry machine gun in a coaxial mounting and eight 81mm smoke grenade dispensers for self-screening, found in two banks of six dischargers each, mounted to the turret cheeks. Headlamps are fixed at the front corners of the hull, and the glacius plate is nearly horizontal to provide a basic ballistics protection effect from small arms fire and artillery spray. It is said that Borsuk's armor can withstand regular machine guns, but some sources claim that Borsuk can stop Russian 30mm rounds to the frontal area. The turret is equipped with independent biaxially stabilized observation devices and a standby observation device with a wide-angle periscope. It also integrates an OBRA-3 SSP-1 laser radiation detection system and a Phonit internal communication system. The turret can fire in automatic and emergency modes and support the futuristic programmable ammunition. It also has two working modes, namely Hunter-Killer and Killer-Killer. In Hunter-Killer mode, the commander looks around the area around the IFV for the target and can point it to the gunner through the Hunter-Killer mode when finding the target. The turret then automatically aligns itself towards the direction of the target. Killer killer mode is preferred when the commander doesn't have much time to tell the gunner about the target. For mobility, the Borisek has an MTU 8V199 TE20 diesel engine developing 820 horsepower and locally developed within Poland. The suspension of the Borsuk consists on either side of six road wheels with a drive sprocket at the front and an idler at the rear. This allows it to run at a maximum road speed of 43 miles per hour, or 70 kilometers per hour, with a maximum cruising range of 373 miles, which is about 600 kilometers. The IFV uses a local chassis designed in-house, though it may have been based on the South Korean K9 self-propelled howitzer chassis, as there are a number of common elements between the two. The initial variant of the Borsuk was fully amphibious. It was also planned that on top of the baseline variant, there'd be a more heavily armored variant without amphibious capability. This variant is thought to be as heavy as the T-72 main battle tank, the same class of armored vehicles as the German Puma Heavy IFV. As we've explored, the baseline vehicle is fully amphibious. On water, it is propelled by two water jets. This lets it cross lakes and rivers afloat. However, discussions about whether Polish mechanized vehicles need amphibious capabilities have been ongoing for some time now. This question was raised during the cancelled BWP-1 Puma IFV upgrade program, as well as during the procurement of Rosamec wheeled armored vehicles. Amphibious capability reduces the overall protection of the vehicle, complicates the design, and also increases servicing costs. It was estimated that a single Borsuk IFV could cost around $6.6 .6 million. The cost of the Polish ZSSW-30 remotely controlled turret would constitute almost 50% of the vehicle value. The 2023 contract details reveal a unit price closer to $10 million for the Borsuk, as the $10 billion contract included the delivery of 1,000 IFVs but it's unclear whether this figure also includes spare parts, training, and maintenance costs. On top of all of these features, there will be Phonant digital communication devices and BMS battlefield management systems. In addition, sensors warn against laser radiation, as well as a licensed American satellite navigation receiver, Talon 5000. This equipment is also complemented by the PIMCO Shardis 2 contamination detection devices. After initial delays, the Borsuk is heading towards the successful completion of its trials. The tests, originally planned to conclude in 2023, were extended by a few months. However, the news is now hopeful for this project. The IFV encountered minor problems at the beginning of its development, including overheating of the final drives, possibly related to an increased load on these components. This was similar to challenges faced by the Panther Ossif D during its test phases. Despite these obstacles, the Borsuk's qualities, notably its good ballistic protection and its modular structure, remained undeniable assets. What are your thoughts on the Borsuk infantry fighting vehicle? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.